and uh, today I gonna uh, do uh, another live stream so yesterday I did one and uh, looks like uh, it was going okay so let's try today so we'll see how it's gonna work out so hopefully hopefully like, uh, hopefully you're gonna like it apologies for that uh, sound so hopefully you're gonna love it and uh, let me continue to work uh, today on what I'm working and uh, I'm working on this piece um, so which is uh, Venetian style carving from Venus Italy 15th century design and uh, today I'm gonna probably do uh, something else uh, uh, and uh, uh, please uh, uh, if you wish to ask me any questions, feel free. I'll try to read a little more today uh, uh, chat. So we'll see. Uh, uh, but please uh, ask me legit questions, okay? Uh, don't ask me questions I can't answer. And also relate it uh, to wood carving, okay? Not, uh, I mean, don't give you uh, opinion how I should do. I'm still not going. I mean, I'm not going to change my mind the way I'm doing. I'm still going to do the way I do all the time. But uh, I'm going to work today. I'm going to work right now, actually, uh, on the same piece. All right, let's uh, jump. Uh, so what today I want to concentrate on? Uh, I'm going to work on this section. All right. Uh, the last uh, live stream I was working on uh, this piece right here and today I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna start developing that uh, side okay and uh, hopefully we're gonna do something really nice okay hopefully we're gonna do something nice uh, by the way um, you know you can see there's a lot of junk accumulated a lot of chips and usually the wood carvers they just uh, blow on it and uh, it's flying away but there's another trick uh, so you can do you can use just a hair dryer if you have an old uh, hair dryer and if you don't like the noise of uh, just the air compressor so you can just use that okay Here you go. Couple seconds and it's all gone. So let me concentrate right now on um, this development right here. Let me concentrate on that development. So the way uh, I want to develop it, I have a big chunk, uh, you know, and I don't want to lose overall feel dimensions and so on okay I'm gonna use probably just a marker and uh, draw an idea so pretty much what's gonna happen that is gonna be my main um, center line of the movement right there and it's gonna go all the way down and right here is gonna be another center line and it's also gonna go all the way down so first what I have to do I have to knock down this corner okay not the corner but uh, whatever this chunk of wood a uh, couple ways of course i could do uh, one of the easiest ways i could use just probably skew skew chisel and work my way in just like that little by little but uh, it's gonna take me too long and uh, wiser would be to use a big gouge maybe i can use a like number two 60 millimeters and chop some of it well i have to change the position and work with the grain
Okay, I'm not gonna touch uh, this side yet because uh, there's gonna be a corbel, uh, a big corbel uh, attached pretty much uh, on the side of, uh, you know, you don't see that, but uh, later on it's gonna be away. There's a big corbel on the right hand side and another one is gonna be on another side also. Okay, so big corbels. So all I need to do right now is just this chunk, okay? And uh, please uh, feel free to ask me anything. Once in a while I'm gonna check uh, chat, okay? I'm not gonna check all the time because I wanna do some work. And I'm gonna give uh, a little more shape toward the, this movement and uh, yes it doesn't look too appealing right now and i don't need to be it's too appealing at this point okay that is good and i'm just uh, using that upside down Just like that. All right. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for kind words. I really appreciate uh, uh, for the comments. Uh, and I'm also happy to see you in chat. Okay, so I, I gave a little bit uh, like a slope sloping movement this way i'm not going to do too much i still want to keep the high point uh, at the same level but now i need to re-establish my middle line and the middle line is supposed to be really gradual and nicely moving toward this direction so it's the middle line of this movement Wonderful. And that is probably enough. And now I'm gonna make my main divisions, which is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna divide that in three parts at first. Right here is gonna be a ridge for my future shell. There's gonna be a shell, which is gonna go right there. And the main um, acanthus movement is gonna be uh, somewhere right here. Okay, so that is gonna be my main um, division. And everything is supposed to go to the center line, which is in this case, going that way but on another hand I have to get another leaf which is gonna grow from underneath and flip little bit above it okay so there's gonna be extra development going on right there so it's gonna be like a double uh, layered one okay so it's gonna be a main division Okay, there is going to be another movement, but now I can concentrate uh, on that. Okay, of course, obviously shell going to be below, and I'm going to take uh, number eleven, and in this case I'm going to take uh, fifteen millimeters again, five eighths of an inch, approximately five eighths of an inch. It's not exactly five eighths of an inch, but approximately. And I'm gonna 
relieve my separations. And I don't want to damage uh, uh, the design which I've got uh, below. So I want to make sure I'm not hitting that too hard, I should say, okay? And that is a big movement and we have to make it um, really beautiful, okay? By the way, uh, I'm not gonna do a probably long live stream. I'm gonna do maybe about half an hour chunks. And if you really wanna see full development or full uh, version how I carve uh, this piece. So you have to go online, okay? And uh, have to be a part of my school. All right. So now I need to make sure I have to make the right decision how I want to develop uh, this piece. How I want to develop this piece. And I think the way I'm gonna do it, this side gonna go a little bit underneath of this line and this is gonna go underneath of this line, okay? There's gonna be a huge eye and there's gonna be also a really big eye. And later on, we're gonna subdivide uh, those also. And to create those eyes, I'm gonna take seven millimeters Number 11 veiner, it's not the gouge, it's a veiner, okay? And I'm gonna create preliminary cut, just like that. Preliminary, and like this, and also, this side and yes I could go actually deeper if I wish now I need to outline my future movement right here but I need to make sure I do have enough uh, material left for this development so I'm gonna just use the same tool and outline it set that in and also I need to make the decision if this is going to be above that next development or this is going to be above that development and looks like the logical approach would be this would be higher than that okay so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna outline this direction. So that movement gonna go that direction right here. And I could use actually a bigger tool, like 18 millimeters. Number 11 again, but it's 18 millimeters. And get a little deeper. Okay, so now uh, I don't need uh, to see this ridge and I'm gonna just blend it. I could do it with the same tool pretty much. Just using uh, the side of the tool and the beauty of uh, number 11, it's not uh, half round, it's like a U shape, uh, like a letter U and the sides of it that's just equal to number three tool and uh, I can use just the side of it as a number three gouge, okay? Just use it like that, okay? And I don't need to switch to another tool. All right, and I also need to blend uh, this ridge, which is supposed to go underneath of here. already giving me the movement the right movement see 
that is going to be excavated a little later. That is going to become my eye and the movement on inside going to go right here from the center. There's going to be another divisions and it's going to give me beautiful development. I'm going to do exactly the same right here on this side. So I'm going to remove some of the excess material I'm not going to need. Again, just using the same tool pretty much. Just the side of my tool. And uh, let me actually show you something else, okay? Um, I think I can show that to you. Uh, just a few days ago, I've got um, a couple boxes uh, in the mail with the new sets of tools. There's a two new sets uh, made by Shaaf tools, and that's uh, actually smaller sets, and that's less expensive. Um, you know, in one set it's a seven tools, and another one it's a four tools, and they're not expensive at all. By the way, for members of my school, okay, if you want to save even more on those tools, so I do have a special discount, okay. So I still did not have a chance to open uh, all of them, but you can see it's brand new, of course. So you know four tools there's a number seven 14 millimeters six millimeters number three six millimeters and number five uh, 14 millimeters it's actually uh, almost uh, enough tools uh, to start carving okay uh, you know some people asking me how many tools uh, and what tools should i get if you can get uh, that set i believe this one is like 45 dollars or something full price and if you are a member of my school uh, so you can get uh, extra 15% discount. Let me show you a second one, second set. It's a little more expensive, but it's beautiful. See, it's a seven tools, and uh, I did not open all of them yet, but I opened one, and I actually, and I apologize, you don't see that. Let me show you the whole thing, okay? See, that is a set of uh, seven tools by Shaf, and they look like file, okay? Uh, I, like I said, I did not open um, all of them yet, but I opened one, and I already reshaped one, okay? So this was uh, uh, number three and 20 millimeters, uh, three quarter of an inch, okay? And uh, I reshaped the usual way I reshape it. I've got a really long bevel. That's the way I love uh, to shape my tools. And I'll show it to you. There's absolutely no difference uh, between really high and expensive tools and this one, which costs you like, a, like 10 bucks a tool. It's not expensive at all. It still carves beautifully, okay? So you can create beautiful stuff uh, with uh, less expensive tools. And please, uh, don't ask me about the quality of those tools. You can't compare uh, really high-end tools uh, with those tools. It all depends uh, what you mean when you're saying quality. Because, for example, uh, uh, let me tell you, um, like example, if you go to Japan, there's a really expensive steak you can buy. They're gonna cook it for you and uh, you're gonna pay about thousand dollars. I don't know what's so special about uh, those uh, expensive cows, but you're gonna pay about thousand dollars just to eat one zener, okay? Just a steak from uh, that special Japanese, uh, you know, cow, all right? Or you can go to a much cheaper restaurant in the USA, let's say, and pay like $12 for steak and still gonna be happy 
Okay, it's still gonna be tasting really good. I'm not saying uh, that the Japanese, uh, you know, steak overpriced. No, uh, I mean, they know why they charging for that uh, steak so much. But for average person, it really doesn't matter, okay? As long as it tastes good, and uh, I rather pay $12 than $1,000, the purpose is still the same. I still gonna eat the steak, you know, and it's gonna give me, you know, fulfillment. <laughs> I'm gonna feel full, all right? So that's uh, exactly the same applying to those tools. I can get a job done with uh, much cheaper tools and it's still gonna look beautiful and nice. Of course, this one I need to a little bit, uh, you know, buff. And I'm gonna buff it. All right. Here you go. I got the canvas. See, it gets the job done. And I'm using just the uh, Chinese tools. Just the Chinese tools. Okay, I've got the main movement. And now I can go ahead and make my development a little more. Okay. So that is my middle line. And right here is going to be another middle line for this separation. And there is going to be another middle line going somewhere right there. Okay. Going underneath. And I'm going to separate in three you know each of those divisions okay you're gonna separate in three gonna be one it's gonna be something like that and this one is gonna be a little bigger separation just like that And this one is also going to be something like this. And it's going to go this way and it's going to go underneath. Actually, I need to get this one a little higher. And a little thicker at this point. And if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, please uh, subscribe. That way you're not going to miss the live stream. And again, I'm going to check. I mean, what's the response going to be? Uh, if uh, people going to like it uh, or people not going to like it. So we'll see. But let me show you a little closer how it's going to look. Just, you know, that development right here. So again, double check. Double check, and I always start with the relief cut. I am trying to relieve uh, those uh, triangles. Those are triangles, that's what I'm calling. Okay, right here, whatever that I'm gonna start. So those triangles needs to be relieved. number 11 uh, seven millimeters same number 11 what I used before okay I don't use uh, in this carving like uh, V tool because I would like to be authentic to the Venetian design and Venetian um, style of uh, wood carving and they did not use any V tools they just didn't have them okay they did not have them 
uh, it was invented a little later. Uh, but they used uh, gouges and they used knives or skew chisels if you wish or just the uh, normal chisels so and I want to be authentic to that culture for um, expert would look at it and would say hey yeah absolutely yeah that looks like a really authentic piece so it's done by those masters all right and let me use four millimeters number 11 and I'm gonna start digging a little bit inward and this side also but not much not much so now I need to um, cut this away just uh, to create the main shape and I'll use just uh, that same shaft tool I had before like three number three sweep and create some my final form that way I can see exactly what is going on and now now I can start uh, developing um, my ridges and pipes and uh, smaller uh, divisions okay and smaller divisions so to emphasize that middle line I'll just use the same tool Although I still have to sharpen it, it's still not too sharp. I'll just use uh, number five by Ashley Isles. Okay, this way, and I'll go that way. So I kind of raised a little bit that middle ridge. And now I can develop my concaves and convexes. Okay, it's gonna go this way. And also, this one needs to be also cleaned out. And there's going to be a separation, which is going to be exactly the same like on this side, but it's going to go underneath of that, um, whatever, that division, okay? But in this division, what I also want to do I want to create the uh, authentic movement and authentic movement means uh, I have to create the concave then it's supposed to be convex and a concave again and uh, I want to raise uh, this ridge much higher okay so which means uh, I have to just uh, cut uh, in a concave I'm not going to cut to this point that would not be the right movement the concave going to go all the way like this so that is going to be all concave okay and I could use um, a zipper tool for this I think I could use probably number eight number eight and about uh, one inch and again look uh, how big my bevels are okay uh, so that uh, gives me ability to carve cleaner let me show you again how it looks overall and I carefully gonna start without the hitting my middle line here's gonna be my middle line and it has to be really 
beautiful and almost uh, no concave right here and much deeper concave uh, closer to the edges I'm gonna get. That way I can actually get really nice and close movement uh, to the lower leaves but still keep at the same level, you know, my upper leaf, right? And I'm not touching this edge. So really important to keep that ridge at the same level. That is uh, number one movement. And now I need to do exactly the same on this side. Also convex it just like that. Okay. So it also has to be convex, but not as much as uh, that side. And the, the reason why, because also there's an invisible ridge which is going to be underneath, but it has to be raised also. Then it's going to be authentic to the original. Again, um, originally on those uh, acanthus movements, uh, you usually see concave, convex, concave. Okay, again, concave, which is a uh, inner cut, convex, it's like going up and down again, concave. All right. So then it's going to give a really nice moment. And uh, everywhere else I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to raise this ridge, okay? And I'm going to do exactly the same trick. Not the trick, but the same technique, I should say. Somewhere it's going to be more deeper, somewhere less. But the idea is going to be the same. Concave, convex, concave. And right there is going to be also, but I'm going to do it a little later. So now I need to blend everything because I don't want to see those uh, sharp ridges. And I'm going to need, uh, probably I could use just a number three or number five will work also, but I'll use just a number three and upside down. You should be able to see actually how it looks right now. Okay. So now I probably gonna stop streaming. So I'm uh, about uh, 30 minutes in, and the rest of it is gonna be available just online. Okay, in my school. Okay, but uh, that that is the idea what I'm um, developing. Okay, so that has to be also convex. I'm not gonna lose my middle line, but I'm also gonna do convex on this side. Okay, that is 
the main idea. Let me show again uh, how it looks. You know, in overall design, and I think it looks really good. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna continue to carve that, uh, not in live stream, but just for uh, my school. And I'm gonna give a lot more details, of course. And I'm gonna jump also on uh, this side, and we're gonna develop a lot more. And if you wanna see that, you really, really, really uh, have to go online on uh, schoolofwoodcarving.com and just to see. And it's, it's the only one project. I have uh, multiple projects right there. I do have, uh, uh, like, uh, we're working on a furniture panel and uh, I do have, uh, you know, small uh, projects like acanthuses and uh, acratarian and uh, small rosettes. And uh, for the beginners, I have, uh, uh, there's a lot of people asking um, how many tools do you need uh, to start the uh, wood carving hobby if you just uh, want to do the hobby. Uh, you really need only one knife pretty much uh, to start carving, which is not going to cost you a lot. Some of the knives are uh, not that expensive and all. Okay, you don't really have to uh, spend a lot of money. And I do have a, the whole course actually online based only on one knife technique. Okay. And uh, for all levels I do have, I have uh, for the beginners, I have uh, uh, for uh, people who really doing furniture, uh, really low relief, and uh, for just the hobbyists also, I mean, all levels, pretty much all levels. And uh, this, uh, for example, piece, I don't expect anybody uh, gonna copy it, but chunks, I mean, some ideas, uh, small details, so it could be incorporated in furniture, it could be incorporated in, uh, uh, you know, in uh, other projects, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget uh, to hit that ring, uh, for you can get uh, notified and you're not gonna miss next time. So I know today there's a lot of people missed uh, that stream. Maybe I still have to figure out what is the best time to, for the live stream. But uh, before I go, I'll explain what I'm gonna do, which you're not gonna see here on YouTube. So I still gonna do uh, some more divisions, uh, some more movements on inside. So it's gonna be really beautifully, beautifully developed. Um, and it's gonna be authentically you know just done like uh, it's supposed to look okay there's gonna be a shell but uh, check it out check it out uh, schoolofwoodcarving.com thank you very much have a good one